This morning while I was waking up, I turned on Scripps News and they were talking about Elon Musk. And they brought in a, a guest analyst person and he instantly starts talking about how Elon Musk is rooted in white supremacy. And I gotta say, I'm freaking sick of everybody blaming their problems on white supremacy. Who are all these white supremacists that are supposedly ruining everybody's life? I'm sure that many of you are gonna say, oh, Donald Trump, Donald Trump's the biggest white supremacist. Do you realize that the NAACP gave Donald Trump an award? Do you realize that when Donald Trump started his show, The Apprentice, that Omarosa was the first winner? And I understand that The Apprentice is a TV show. I get that. But Omarosa went on to run many of Donald Trump's companies. Oh, what a racist! I'm, I'm so tired of people blaming their problems on white supremacy. Are there racists? Of course there are people that are racist. I grew up in a small town. I know some of those people. But many of these people that you are claiming are white supremacists, why don't you look into their background and see who's running their companies? And I promise you, it's not full of 100% white people. Stop blaming all your problems on white supremacy. Get out there, get a freaking job, and get your life together. It's that simple. And you know, part of me gets it. Because all these teachers in these colleges and these high schools nowadays are telling these students that they can never become anything in life because of white supremacy. Instead of telling these kids that they can become anything in this country and that they can do anything with their lives. They're, they're tearing these kids down. You want to know who the real racists are? It's the people on the left telling these kids that they will never become anything. And to be honest with you, most of us white people have other friends from different nationalities and different ethnicities. And I'll tell you what, we don't even think about the fact that they're different color, different races, all right? I don't go around saying, oh, when I'm telling a story about a black friend, I don't call him Black Mike. I just call him Mike. And I don't even think about the fact that he's black. Of course, I'm using that as an example, but the fact is that most of us on the right don't even think about racism. And you know why? It's because we're not racist. We treat people by the content of their character. The fact that many of you are going to watch this and say, Oh, it's just another racist on a rant, truly shows how pathetic you truly are.